Well, with an increase in violent crime, we turn our focus to the race for Hennepin County's top prosecutor. The two finalists accuse each other of being dangerous and upholding the status quo. Political reporter Theo Keith takes questions to former public defender Mary Moriarty and retired judge Martha Holton Dimmick. Mary Moriarty and Martha Holton Dimmick say they both want public safety, accountability, and transparency. But in the days after advancing to the general election for Hennepin County attorney, they wasted no time drawing battle lines. Do you think she'd be dangerous? Absolutely. Why? Because she is not a collaborator. Holton Dimmick says Moriarty, the county's former public defender, lacks experience as a prosecutor. She was always on the opposite side of the case. Now she's going to come in and expect to direct them. You know, that's not going to work. Um, I would say that probably a good percentage of them will leave. A spokesman for the county attorney's office tells me that both total staffing and the number of attorneys have increased slightly over the past year. Moriarty says she's told prosecutors directly they have nothing to fear. I've heard this, you know, are you going to come in and fire all of us? And no, the answer is no. That's not who I am as a human being, as a leader of an office. Moriarty says Holton Dimmick's arguments represent the status quo. Moriarty plans to end County Attorney Mike Freeman's practice of sending police misconduct cases to other counties before deciding whether to prosecute. And she supports expanding intervention programs for troubled youth. The idea of saying, I'm tough on crime, vote for me, is all about appealing to people's fear. The retiring Freeman faced pressure in recent years to make police misconduct cases more transparent and to be tough on violent crime which rose 24% across the metro a year ago. Moriarty and Holton Dimmick both live in Minneapolis, meaning they voted on question two, last year's failed ballot initiative that would have replaced the Minneapolis Police Department with a safety agency tasked with taking a public health approach to crime. Moriarty will not say how she voted. You want the top prosecutor job in the county, and people ought to know how you voted on one of the major public safety initiatives that this county, that this city, mm -hmm. has ever seen. Mm -hmm. No, I, I think it is about pandering um, because it's about being political. I've repeatedly said I am not a politician. Moriarty says taking a position could require a prosecutor to remove themselves if a future police ballot question faces a legal challenge. Holton Dimmick says she voted no on question two, which she equates to the defund the police push. How do you think that impacted the criminals in our neighborhoods? It, it was like putting up the go sign. Just go ahead and commit crimes, and that's exactly the effect that it had. Both candidates agree there's something wrong with the MPD. This year, a state human rights investigation found a long-standing pattern of discrimination. Both candidates say they'll prosecute cops who commit crimes or violate people's civil rights. Holton Dimmick supports returning the force to 900 officers from fewer than 600 now though she says outside agencies should be in charge of training MPD's new officers. More than Holton Dimmick, Moriarty says she'd use her position to press for change within the police department. I've seen a lot of video, and I think one of my jobs as county attorney is to flag that video of minor policy violations, um, bigger policy violations, and share that with police leadership because they don't see it as much as prosecutors do, and to say, I think you need to have a conversation here. Moriarty has been a longtime critic of Freeman, whom she says lacks transparency and accessibility. Holton Dimmick worked under Freeman in the 2000s and gives his tenure a B minus or C plus. I think Mike has a, a, a big heart, a good heart, but I think that, you know, the lack of communication and the lack of transparency really hurt him these last few years. The county attorney's race is nonpartisan. Theo Keith, Fox 9.